This presentation will discuss understanding and using the breeding cost calculator. The breeding cost calculator is an Excel-based spreadsheet that allows for calculating bull expense related to breeding and to compare this cost to the use of artificial insemination in cattle. The breeding cost calculator was developed by Roger Wilson, Dr. Matt Stockton, and Aaron Berger, and can be found at the beef.unl.edu website under Learning Modules. Click under Beef Cow Reproduction and you'll find the Excel spreadsheet there. It also can be found at the westcentral.unl.edu website under Ag Econ 3 and is in the Ag Manager's toolbox. When you download the Excel spreadsheet and open it up, the title page will pop up that looks like this. To get to the actual spreadsheet where the calculations are made, you'll need to go down and click on the tab that says Bull versus AI. Once you open up the Bull versus AI tab, you'll see a natural service cost and an AI cost. The natural service cost allows us to go through and calculate what it would cost to breed the cows utilizing natural service, and then we have the option of comparing that to a cost utilizing AI, and then we can compare the two options to one another. The first segment we need to fill in under natural service only is the segment here where we want to put in the number of cows that are in the herd. For this example, we assumed 100 the number of bulls we're going to need, end of season pregnancy rate, percent calf crop, and this is really an important number. We're looking here at percent calf crop weaned per cow exposed. And we want to, again, get that number right as it's really important as it applies to getting to a cost per calf produced. Then we have the interest rate value, and you can put in a value here you think is appropriate, either based on money borrowed that you're using uh, for cow or for the bulls that you're utilizing or maybe if you're using your own capital that you've invested what kind of percent interest rate you want to expect to get back for investing in uh, the bulls to breed the cows and then also there's a opportunity to interest enter calf value this calf value is important in that we're going to compare natural service percent calf crop wean per cow exposed to an AI service and cleanup bull percent calf crop wean per cow exposed if we expect there might be a difference between those two methods of getting the cows bred, then if we have a difference in the percent calf crop weaned, that's $1,200 then comes into play there and is used to allow us to compare those two options to one another and to calculate in any benefit we might expect from a better pregnancy rate utilizing one of these two methods. Next we want to put in bull info in terms of what do we expect we're going to spend for bulls, the number of years we're going to use them, what are we going to have for bull loss from things like a bulls that fail to pass a BSC exam, bulls that get injured, things like bull death loss, and then finally we want to find out what we expect to get for salvage value out of those bulls by putting in what we expect their, them to weigh when we cull them out of the herd and then their value when they're sold. From that we can get an average coal value and then an average value that that bull will have over his productive life as part of the breeding herd. Next we get into grazing cost and there we've gotten this broken out into growing season grazing, dormant season grazing, and then we have some areas there that you can utilize for things like corn stalks or crop residue uh, for other grazing. Down on the lower part of the sheet, I just gave an example that it shows there the time that you're going to be utilizing and then the period. And we put you some opportunities there to pick different things you might use from period, either days, months, or year. The price of that feed, uh, the period that it's in, and then the cost per bull per year. Other feed costs, uh, these are things we might do if we dry lot that bull for a portion of the year or maybe related to expense we might have if we're providing a protein supplement or some hay out on pasture. And again, we've just given you several options there, of ways to enter in what you would expect to spend for having that bull around throughout the year. Other costs, these are expenses related to having those bulls 
uh, labor and management we said for our herd we're going to expect to have uh, spend around five hundred dollars for the four bulls per or excuse me for the three bulls per year marketing coals uh, when those bulls reach the end of their productive life we're going to plan to take them to the sale barn and market them so uh, the hauling expense sale barn commission brand inspection uh, related to that expense uh, we're going to prorate that expense over the life of the bull each year insurance maybe we're going to take out insurance for death loss then we also have some opportunity for you to put in other expenses such as veterinarian expense any mis miscellaneous building costs uh, things like that so finally we get to a bull cost per year and so it includes all the expenses that we put in includes our interest on capital investment or interest on money that we borrowed for those bulls and we get down to a cost per calf weaned per cow exposed and in this example we're going to spend around seventy six dollars to get a weaned calf based on the scenario presented now let's look at AI cost and again this is the spreadsheet as it looks like at a whole but we're going to go focus on the right hand side of the spreadsheet on AI costs. The first area of data entry that we have to look at is, uh, is the number of cows in the herd, number of cleanup bulls we're going to need. In most cases if we AI we're going to go ahead and turn a bull out with those cows to hopefully get any cows bred that we missed or didn't get pregnant through AI end of season pregnancy rate in this particular example I chose 94 percent which was one percent better than our natural service just assuming that through the use of our estrus synchronization program uh, we may get one more cow bred and then I also said we're going to get one percent better calf crop weaned per cow exposed utilizing AI versus natural service this wage rate for AI activities we're going to have the opportunity to put in the number of hours that we invest from a labor standpoint and then to properly estimate costs associated with that, we need to put in an hourly wage that we would want to pay ourselves or expect to pay someone else. The synchronization section, this allows us to put in the amount of labor related to synchronizing those cows and also allows us to put in uh, the expense of the drugs related to synchronization. For this particular example, I'm assuming that we're gonna use a select sync plus cedar program and so we're going to spend around $15 for estrus synchronization drugs. The next segment is heat detection and labor uh, related to that. Uh, we're assuming we're going to spend around a quarter of an hour per head uh, to do that, which works out to around $3 per cow based on our labor charge. This next segment looks at comparing first service conception and second service conception uh, and allows us the opportunity to put in values for that so in this particular example I said we're gonna AI the cows once and then put a bull out with them we also have the option in this spreadsheet if you're going to be AI and repeats that you can put your second service expect expected expenses in there as well and then the second service expected expenses are based on the number of cows that did not get pregnant in the first service and then this segment down here that says total cows bred in first and second service is the combination of those two in this particular example we only used one round of AI expected to get a 65 percent pregnancy rate we didn't have a second round of AI and so we go ahead and enter 65 percent down in that second service as that's the total cows that we expect to be bred AI equipment and facilities uh, in this example again we're assuming we have some facilities that we're using for AI and we're charging the cow herd for the expenses related to that and then we get down to a breeding cost summary and so we have our AI synchronization cost in there cost per cow for synchronization our heat detection expense cost related to actual AI service equipment and facilities and then depreciation on equipment and facilities as well as expenses and interest related to IAI equipment and investment for things like the semen tank uh, for any expenses related to that and so you can see then when we get costs per cow bred using AI 
it costs around $96.53 in this scenario to get a cow bred using AI. Next we get to the summary here where we look at cost for cleanup bulls. Again, remember we expected to have one bull. We'd turn out with those cows to expose to the approximately 35 cows that we did not get pregnant utilizing AI. Then we have total breeding costs. And you can see all cash costs, all interest and depreciation costs, the cost per cow in the herd, cost per pregnant cow, and then cost per calf weaned. So in our example, we're assuming it's going to cost around $94 per calf weaned to utilize AI. Then you see there a segment that says increased value per calf needed to cover AI cost. Now remember, we said we were going to get 1% better calf crop weaned per cow exposed utilizing estrus synchronization and AI than we would with natural service. And so that's why it costs around $94 utilizing AI natural service. We said it was going to be around $76 per calf if we use just natural service, but when we include the extra value of one more calf weaned, that calf was worth right around $1,200. When we prorate that back over the cows, that reduces the amount that we need to get from an additional calf, excuse me, that reduces the amount we need to get uh, from that additional value from those AI sired calves because we already got additional value from weaning a greater calf crop weaned per cow exposed. This next page is a partial budget analysis showing AI cost compared to natural service. In this example we allowed you the opportunity to put an increased value from AI. So again we're assuming if we're using AI that we're using ester synchrony, we're using a highly proven bull, those calves that are produced through that process should have more value or potentially have more value than calves from strictly natural service. The additional value you would expect to get from cows calving earlier uh, from the ester synchrony, the better genetics that we have the opportunity to use using AI, and so we give you the opportunity there to put in a value that you think would be reasonable to expect uh, from the extra value you would get from utilizing AI. In this example, I used a value of $30. Again, also remember that we said we were going to get 1% greater calf crop wean per cow exposed. Uh, that's taken into account here also with that increased value from AI. So we then have the cost of AI, reduced income if we had an expected pregnancy rate decrease with AI. In this case, we said it would be better than natural service, so there is no reduction. And then reduced cost for fewer bulls. So expected net gain from AI is around $24 per calf produced, $22 per cow. If we look at that over our total herd, we would expect to net an additional $2,200 approximately in this example, utilizing AI with a cleanup bull versus just utilizing natural service. If you have any questions about this spreadsheet or any of the content uh, included in it, please give me a call or an email. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you.